It seems like organic food is everywhere these days, but what about the drinks? I'm Divya Gugnani here at Base Bar at the Hard Rock Hotel in Chicago. So let's go behind the burner and meet the author of Organic, Shaken, and Stirred. So I'm here with author Paul Abercrombie. So Paul, you recently wrote the book Organic, Shaken, and Stirred. So you're going to make a recipe from there, one of the signature recipes. Right. And what are we going to make? This is called a pineapple caipirinha with sweet lime espuma. When I think caipirinha, I think Brazil. Uh, you should, because it is actually the Brazilian sort of national drink. First, let's start with some quarters of lime. OK, okay I got those. those. Put those in our mixing glass. Now let's get, let's say, four pieces of organic Pineapple. Pineapple chunks. And I really like this because you're going organic mm -hmm. and you're getting great fruit flavor. So I've got one, two, three, four. Perfect. Now, let me give you four sugar cubes, too. Organic. So why are you using sugar cubes? Well, the sugar cubes give it a little bit of a texture. And when you're using it, when you're going to be muddling it, you want to be able to really grind some of the oils and things out of the, uh, the lime. And now you get your muddler. It. Wield your muddler and give it a good muddling. What's the consistency you're looking for here? Uh, basically just kind of a rough mushed upness. Now we're going to go to the next thing, which is uh, making the espuma. Okay. Now with this we're going to get lime juice. Mm -hmm. Got some lime juice. Yes. Gonna put that in there. Got lime juice. Agave nectar. Which is nice. It's a natural sweetener. Yep. And egg white, which is going to give it its nice frothy texture. Now let's yes. get the top on this one. Yeah. Give it like to make it really frothy. I'm frothing now. You're I frothing. Think. I'm frothing. So now we're ready for the booze. Now we're ready for the cachaça, which and uh, is right here. It's uh, my favorite is the cuca fresca, which uh, is really the only premium organic cachaça available, and uh, it also happens to taste really good. Into here. Perfect. And into here. Four the whole mixture in without actually spilling it all over the place. And then your espuma you put on the top. It's kind of a little... My frothy egg white mixture. OK, so cheers. Okay, cheers. This is the moment of truth. Yes. Your caipirinha. So Paul, thanks so much for this tasty caipirinha, but I'm ready for the next. So I see lots of berries, and berries are my favorite. Mm -hmm. So what are we having? This is called the berry batida. And batida is basically kind of a cousin to the caipirinha. It's another Brazilian sort of national drink. So let's do it. OK, let's get some berries. First of all, let's start with some raspberries. OK. You can get basically about, yeah, about eight of those. I have four blackberries. It's a nice okay. color combination, raspberries yes. and blackberries. Uh -huh. no. So we're going to muddle those? Muddle them, yep. Basically, squish. Give these a good squishing. Mm -hmm. Let's get some, uh, some lemon juice. OK. About so this a, is lemon juice? Yep, so basically about about a quarter ounce. A little bit of agave nectar here. And we'll just add a little bit of the bitters, these okay. Urban Moonshine organic bitters. So just how much are you going to put in? Just a droplet of about two, two drops of each. Okay. So we've got our berries, our lemon juice, our agave nectar, and some ice. And the one thing we need now is the cachaça. Ooh. So add a little bit of cuca fresca. Of course. An ounce and a half of that in each glass. Yeah. I'm going to fine strain it over here. So you okay, can do so the, I want to do the strainer. You can sort of strain it over the fine strainer so we get all of these sort of the seeds and other stuff in it because we want it to be a pretty non chunky. Perfect. Now I'm ready Let's to try. try it. Cheers. Good. Cheers. The berries taste great, but I love the cuca fresca. Yeah, that is, um, well, it's a it's kind of secret, secret ingredient. Secret ingredient. Yeah. <laughs> so, Paul, you thought you were done, but I want another cocktail. This is called Old Vermont. Okay. First, we're going to start with a couple ounces of blue coat gin. Yay. We're going to go with a half an ounce of maple syrup, organic maple syrup. Oh, I like that. So this is this the is... Vermont part. Right. When I think of Vermont, I think of skiing and maple syrup. Those are the only yes. two things that come to mind. This is a really interesting drink. Now we're going to have some uh, half an ounce of lemon juice. Okay. And a quarter ounce of fresh squeezed orange juice. And then we're going to use some of these um, a little bit of Urban Moonshine's Maple Bitters. Wow. Just a couple of drops in there. Cool. From business. Ready? Yes, sir. Mm. 
an important part, trying it. That is a taste of Vermont. It tastes like maple. Isn't that interesting? It's really beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's totally different. different and interesting. Yeah, I love it. I love it too, thanks. Stay tuned to Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are lighting the culinary world on fire. For the recipe, Q&A, photos, and more, visit BehindTheBurner.com.